Okay, bye, Kelly. Bye, bye Kelly. See Kelly, you later. later. Bye. Hey, guys. We're back with more banjo. Banjo. Couple of house cleaning things, as always, with the Beard Bros, because yeah. we're just a bunch, a bunch of clean boys up in here. Look at this shit. This is the worst. This guy's like like a boxer who's like on his first day at the gym, just like, I'll do it. I'm good. I'm do I'll do anything, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You want to go? Let's go. Um, First off, Kelly cannot join us for any more episodes. She's a busy gal. But we but, love hey, her. hey, that was tight, right? It was. Uh, everyone really loved her. Yeah. We love you, Kels. Yeah, we'll try and Especially get Alex more. for... Yeah, I really love her. I mean, I don't know why. Like, you know, like, you guys aren't dating or anything, so... Yeah, let's just keep confusing everyone. So yeah. That... <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we're dating. Yeah, they're dating, guys. Um, So, also, as a reminder, uh, just to give you guys a heads up, we have a big brand deal coming in. All oh, right, just up. at the top of every episode. We're just gonna warn you. We're gonna warn you. In the we next, did a brand, we did a brand deal for a game that we normally wouldn't play on this channel uh, to give us the funds needed to continue making as many episodes as we currently do. Yeah, uh, and more uh, in the future. So, uh, and uh, you know, this is the last time we're ever gonna do something like this. I think maybe, especially if uh, the thing that we're planning in the future goes through to help us fund this in a way that we're comfortable with without doing like a crazy. Yeah, thing. but super you know, transfer, super transparent. As bros, always, you know what I mean? it's gonna be a, it's it's gonna be a super sellout, bros. Everything's gonna be very transparent, and the content itself will be the same quality content that you know. We're gonna try and like do our best with the game and have fun time, but it is gonna be ten episodes. Yeah, uh, so there's not gonna be all right away. It's gonna be like one a week. Yeah, so um, just be ready. Just be ready for that. Still, you'll still get all your other beer bros loves. Yeah, um, and then we're gonna be opening up the Sunday slot. And that's the good. That's the good it's thing. It's not going to replace anything. That's yeah. that's the good thing to come from this. It's we're it's going to open up the Sunday slot from now on. So now Beer Bros is coming out seven days. a right. week. Right. Once it ends, once, once it, it ends, ends se there's still going to be something. Seven there. days a week. So and we'll talk more about what that, like we'll talk more about that in the near future. But first, yeah, first we're going to get through this brand deal because it was it's worth it. It's really going to be worth it. Yeah. So with that said, banjo. Banjo. Alex is convinced we're gonna finish Banjo real soon. I'm, I'm, I'm. Because like, I, I guess, faith. I guess we're just murderers. I have faith, bro. Look, if we played Banjo for the next like 300 episodes, I would not complain. I love this game. Yeah. Who doesn't love Banjo Kazooie? I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Question of the day: Who doesn't love Banjo Kazooie? No, man. No, nah, everybody's just is, gonna get, Everybody's just gonna get mad at you. Yeah. No. Yeah. The question is: The question of the day: How you doing? Hey, what's up? What's up? That's it? Yeah. How many times has that been the question? For this series? For this series, probably like only once or twice. <laughs> Couple times. Couple times. Okay, so now that we moved the water level, we gotta go get the painting, right? Yeah. I forgot where it is. For the absolute worst level in Banjo Kazooie. This is like the water temple of Banjo Kazooie. This is my my least favorite level. This is popularly the worst. This is like the one that everybody rags on all the time. I just, I forget it very much. You forget it very much? Yes, I forget how to get to it. I forget the level layout. It's my least memorable level. You just don't want it. I just, cause it, it's so traumatizing to me. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it, it makes me sad. So here it is. We can get in it now, but I don't think we have the painting. How do we get the painting? Like I said, I do not remember because I blocked everything out. Maybe around here somewhere? This seems like a fun new area to be. This is like a, yeah, a fun new area. Hey, Ooh, look, a rare, rare box. Hey, look at that. What's in here? I'd say this box is very rare. rare. <laughs> okay, do we... Is this right? Oh. Oh. Oh, this might be right. Oh. Oh. This might be right. This could be right. Alex, you know how freaking crazy I am? I was about to say, dude, we should let's play Mario RPG. Yeah, let's do it. Again. I've never played it before. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be Yo, great. We went to town on that game. Yeah, we crushed that. That took like five seconds. Right. We were like, welcome to episode one, the finale. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in that room? Did we miss it? Did we just go past it? What do you mean? Is there like an alternate exit to this hallway to the right? What's that? Oh, 
call. Oh, this is just back over here. More collectees. Oh, this is oh. it. Oh, fuck yeah. Fucking Alex Lewis Fasciani. It's weird when you say my f my shortened first name with my middle name. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue like it no, does. No, it doesn't. No. Alexander Lewis is very good. Like that's like Alex. Oh, Alex Lewis. Like you how have about, to. Like, how about how about this? Al Lou. Al Lou. Al Lou. Alu Fa. That sounds like a college. Alu Fa. What's your alma mater? Alu. <laughs> Alu Fa. Oh my god. Okay. This awful level. Here we go. Rusty Who's Burkett. ready for the hype train? I'm not ready for the hype train. <laughs> I hate this level a lot. I the hype train to. crashed and everyone on the train died. <laughs> <laughs> So morbid. Welcome to Rusty Bucket Bay. Rumors suggest that Captain Black Eye once sailed the Rusty Bucket. Oh, man. Uh, but it is more likely he would captain a traditional pirate ship after his original role, according to the Banjo-Kazooie wiki. Yo, check out that trivia for you. Here's a fun fact, though. A real fun, fun fact. Fun fact. Let's do uh, it. There was a promotional video uh, about this game that was given to subscribers of Nintendo Power. Maybe you remember that. Maybe you don't. I think I had this promotional video back in the day. Uh, the best thing about the video is that it's narrated by the star of The Critic, John Lovitz. <laughs> uh, and weirdly- It stinks. Yeah. It stinks. Uh, Bureau's weirdly, homework. Go watch an episode of it. Yeah. Of the Critic. Oh my god, what a great show. It's like I a bunch love of, it's so underrated. It's a bunch of episode, uh, writers from The Simpsons who were like, What? We're gonna make our own show. Uh, except they all sound like John Lovitz, apparently. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a good Beer Bros homework. Is uh, film a, uh, a little vine of you going, It stinks! Uh, <laughs> it stinks! I'm John Lovitz. <laughs> and at John Lovitz Mattress Superstore, you're gonna love the way you look. I, I guarantee love it. <laughs> I guarantee love it. That's I that that joke is a classic joke from a friend of mine named Benji, who is in a, is in a sketch group online called the Old with an E Old Money Boys with a Z. Uh, your Shout other out. your Rest other your other Beard Bros homework is to go watch their their sketch. Uh, it's called Sparuchet Pan Tornegos. That's the name of their sketch? Sperruchet Pan Tornegos. It has a very good reason for being named that. This this sketch won an award one time. It's one of the most hilarious, like, amazing sketches I've ever seen. Please go watch that. <laughs> Beard Bros homework. Um, Let's talk about this music real quick. A.K.A. Grant Kirkhope murdering dudes all the time with his music. It's this, so good. I, I always thought for some reason, like, that this level looked like it was like a stage from, like, a shooting game. Kind of. Is, is that weird? A little bit. Not not that weird though. That enemy is like so one of the most classic video game enemies. Oh, it's a honeycomb. Um, so if we if we have a chance later, you should go look at the. Uh, oh my god, dude! Did you know that was there? Sure did. Uh, if we have a chance, we should go look at the back of the. Uh, the ship? Of the ship, uh, for a little piece of trivia. Um, but sure. also, I want to point out that this specific part, the engine room, is the... This is the, this part of this le of this game is supposed to be the worst. This specific puzzle is the worst one. According to what? Like, Banjo.com? Uh, just like, the according fans? to the Banjo wiki, according to... I mean, I don't disagree. I think this is the worst one. I think this is so frustrating if you, if, like... Like, if you don't know what's coming and you don't know what to do, this shit is so annoying. Um, but other people, like, if you're good at the game, like, if you're, like, really good at the game, a lot of people like this level because it's so challenging. It's like I'm somewhere in the middle. This is like playing Banjo-Tooie for a second. Like, you just, like, take a minute, and then you're playing Banjo-Tooie. Like, that's how this level feels to me. Is that it's, like, about as hard as Banjo-Tooie is. Um, <clears throat> apparently... That, the, you know, there's a uh, garage door behind the entrance pad when mm -hmm. you get here. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people believe that uh, that was meant to take you to the Quagmire from Banjo-Tooie. Uh, once you hit stop and swap, since you can see a similar door in the Quagmire from Banjo-Tooie. Interesting. I don't know if that's true, though. It's not a confirmed uh, fact. It's just a thing that people think. Died. Oh, god damn it. 
that was my first real disappointing death. Dude, we died off camera too once. On the way here, yeah, but yeah, that like, didn't really count. That was like a mistake, yeah. That was just like falling in lava. Trivia, this is the only level in the game that doesn't have bottles and mumbo. Oh yeah! Crazy, right? Also, the theme has a verse of Bubble Gloop Swamp in it. Weird. Really? Yeah. That's kind of tight. Yeah, also you can't finish the level, uh, you can't beat the game without going in here because of the 810 note door. That yeah. makes sense. Crazy, right? Well, clock, uh, click clock wood you can, right? You don't have to play that to beat the game. Correct. That one you can just skip. That one's a delight. It's a bit confusing, but it's a delight. Yeah. Man. It says, it says, it's possible to complete Grunty's Furnace Fun and see the credits without having stepped foot in it. But I don't think you can complete the game without it, maybe. I'm not sure. It's weird. I don't understand that. Man, I have to redo the- I have to re-turn off the- Oh yeah, look! There! Go back- go back on that box. So check it out. So the book- the- it says the rusty bucket, and then it says Twycross England. Yeah. Because just like that church, from the last level, uh -huh. Twycross is where Rare is. Ah! Or, or was, or still is. I'm, ah. not, I'm not sure. But at the time of this game, they were in Twycross. Ah! Did we ever get an answer on if that's the right way to pronounce that? Or it's we, like got a, we got like, a few. We got a few. I forget because like some you know. super fast British version of it that's like Twickers or something like that. <laughs> Twickers. Sounds like you're saying <laughs> turquoise. Like turquoise? Yeah. Like the color? You say is it turquoise? I say turquoise. I thought it was turquoise. Turquoise. I think it's turquoise. This is like tomato tomato. Question kind of, of the thing. day. I don't, do think ever, I don't think I've ever met anyone who called it a tomato. Well, you, you probably haven't been to England, then. What's up in here? Oh my god, this level's just long. There's just so much bullshit to do in it, yeah. I mean, I don't know, there, you know... I really love, um... Mad Monster Mansion. There's something so endearing about that whole level that I enjoy all the... Cause like those two kind of share the common trait, right? Of I, being like the ones people hate long and and tedious in a way. But I really don't, I don't feel the same way uh, when I play this. Uh, uh, Whoa! Oh, did I just like glitch? All right. I guess we're out of here then. Um, I don't, I don't feel like the the level fatigue uh, at all in 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 Mad Monster Mansion, but in here. I started playing it immediately. I'm like, oh god, I want to be over with it. Really? Yeah. Do you think it's because it's like, like, a like a dilapidated looking level, like it's not pretty? You know what? I think that might have a, like it's a bit like to do dirty. with it. Yeah. Awful enemy. So annoying. Hey, but you made up your lost life. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah huh? Have you gotten a single puzzle piece yet? No. God damn. No, I have not. <laughs> I have not gotten a single puzzle piece. Also, uh, speaking of the music, let's talk about it for a second. Sure. It's possible in this level, because you go in and out of things so quickly, it's possible to glitch the music so that like parts uh -huh. of it don't load. Ah! It's possible to glitch uh, parts of it that don't so that they don't load. And you hear like a version of the music that doesn't have like certain parts, like the metronome or the horns or the whistles. Interesting. But then also, when you're playing the whistle puzzle in this level, uh, it actually, not as a glitch, removes the whistles from the song so that it doesn't, uh, like, confuse you. Okay. Interesting, right? Yeah. There is a Junjo in here somewhere. I think there's a hole that he's in, or something. Where? He's whistling. Yep. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Help! 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 Help!
help. I think that's all that's in here, because the camera is not so friendly in this zone, so I'm thinking we can just leave. That's fine. That's chill. That's chill. That's chill. Hey, man. What's up? It's chill. Yeah. It's Beruchet Pantornegos, now I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> they have, they're just a great, great channel all around. I mean, they're not active, really, but they had some great sketches. I also recommend the John Williams sketch. Oh, that one's great. It's not safe for work. Okay. So I think we're done with this little island. Okay. Let's go ahead over here. There's a lot to do. This episode might, or this, this, this thing this might span chunk multiple, might, yeah. yeah. We're gonna probably do at least two episodes guaranteed. Guaranteed. Guarantee. Guaranteed. It guarantee stinks. Um, I got a little bit more trivia for you. Yo, in nuts and bolts, there's a ship that you can see floating um in the ocean at Showdown Town that looks like the, the Rusty Bucket. Uh, ship. Um, and then in Banjo Land in Nuts and Bolts, there's a version of it that has a mm, different number of smokestacks than the actual one. Weird, right? Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I don't want to die. Like the one in Banjo, uh, Nuts and Bolts uh -huh. has three smokestacks, but this one only has two. Interesting. Weird, right? What does that mean? What do you mean? Like, what's the significance? It's like a, it, I think it's just a, like a weird mistake, but it's like, it's like, uh, or maybe not a mistake. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, but it's, but it's like a situation where it's like in a museum almost. It's like a small version, and they even have like a cutout of it that you can like look in and see like the engine room and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Okay. God, there's so much to do at this level. Yo, we're we're doing that work though. Yeah, you're 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 like we're you, haven't, you haven't stopped getting things. You know what I mean? Like you're doing good. Oh boy. Oh boy. What? I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Come on, camera. Oh my God, really? This is really. I don't. I don't think I'm supposed to do this. Oof. Oh, what an awful sound. All right, can't you just like fly across or something? I don't know how. Surely. The idea is that you're supposed to go up and climb on top and then jump down. Surely that can't be what they want you to do, and then they give you that shitty camera. Is that really how it's supposed to? Go? Is that really the camera for this? That can't be right. That's really... That's really... Did you just see what happened? That's really how the camera is supposed to be for that part? I don't think so. That is like... That is like so bad, dude. That, that's not right. That There's like something sucks. glitching out. Something's glitching out. Because I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. Well, I'll come back to it. I'll feel better about it later. Yeah, it says climb the crane... Uh, cr climb the crane and board the ship. That's fucking crazy. How are we ever gonna do that? Oh no! Oh. I forgot he's in this level. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Did I just go back in? Oh, I never left. You never left. Oh my god, get out. Jesus. Man, this is why many this of the reasons. This is the story of a girl. This is. I want to change of my. Can I change my mind? Can I change my mind about being done anytime soon? What do you mean? Remember how I was saying like, oh, we're gonna be done soon. <laughs> can I change my mind about that. Yeah. Did you see that, Jinjo? I saw him. No. Oh my Gerard god. Syndrome. Just go get the Jinjo. No. Just go get the Jinjo. Get the Jinjo. You're oh going god. the opposite way. You're not. Come you gotta on. get out of the hole. Oh man, shout out to Knollwood in Fullerton. What? Just got a crazy craving for a Knollwood burger in Fullerton. I don't know if, there's, if that's a chain or what, but... 
Dude, that, it's all about Roscoe's Bar in Fullerton. That place is great. <laughs> Roscoe's Bar, really? You've been to Roscoe's? Yeah. Dude, have you had a sandwich? No. Out of town. What are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing, Alex? I've never done it. Let's go. Oh, my God. Real story. If you went to Cal State Fullerton or you live in the Orange County area, one time me and my friends woke up after a party in Los Feliz, Los Angeles, and we were like, oh, my God, we're all so hungover. You know what would be perfect right now? Uh, Pepe's breakfast burrito. Oh, my God, Pepe's. And then we just, like, all got in a car together and drove all the way to Fullerton to get one. It's like an hour. It took us like an hour and 20 minutes. It's like totally worth it. Man. Pepe's. We got some fitness bros, dude. Don't let us forget. Hey, unless I will not forget. I have been like shopping totally differently. Eating so much like... I, I completely gave up red meat. You're doing your Lent thing again? Uh, I think I'm just gonna give it up for the time being. I'll probably like reintroduce it, like, cause it's not like a, you know, it's not like a morality thing for me. It's just like, it encourages me. No, I me. know. We usually, every, every year I've known you, you've kind of, you're not really religious. No. But you tend to do like the whole, like, well, you know, Lent. Yeah, my family's Catholic. Um, and so it's just a thing that I always did. Um, but this time me and Kelly are both doing it cause we're gonna try and eat better. And we always like rely on hamburgers. And that's like such a bad thing to do. Like, you shouldn't eat too much red meat, you know? And so I... So I try and just do, like, chicken and turkey and stuff. And we'll do pork, but we always say, like, we're not going to do it unless it's, like, not the central thing in the meal, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, a little bacon is okay every once in a while, but, like, I'm not going to eat, like, you know, fried pig, even though it's so goddamn good. Maybe the best tasting thing that exists. To him. I don't know what's over here. I'm having a hard time. Am I done with this place, you think? I don't think so. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I have no memory of this part of Banjo-Kazooie. Did you go on that, that, that bouncy pad? You did, right? Yeah, I'm going back this way. Did you go up there? That's where I started. I don't know what else there is to get here. I can look and see what the things are to get. No, I just want to double check just to make sure. Oh, look at that! Wow. Is this by the entrance? <laughs> That's our first one. Is this by the exit? It's by the entrance, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, uh? Yoda? <laughs> Yoda? Yoda? <laughs> oh my god, there's a baby. It's not a baby. What is that? Oh god, That's I our buddy Jason. Oh my god, Jason. The return of Jason. Jason returns. Detective Tap. <laughs> After so many years, he's... Mission. Um... Good job, man. I don't... Nice moves. Yo. You roasting me right now? No. I feel like a roast. It was just like, you definitely shot more than two in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my intention. Right, but it's, it's more than two. The toll was only two. No, uh, second time around, it's four. Oh. <sighs> Ginger time? Feel the ride. Oh my god, just get in get the ginger. Yes. <laughs> Can you go all the way down to the bottom? Holy sh... No, you can't. Get out of there. Can you come through the hole? Maybe? That'd be shady. Would it be slim though? <laughs> I'm not sure. Try that, try that crane one again. That's bullshit. I think it's a glitch from that angle. I think once we redo it, it'll be fine. 
Yeah, try that I'm shit. I'm not too was... concerned. Okay, this one, you gotta memorize the uh, numbers. Remember on the side of the boat, that one? Uh, it was 312. There's an evil lifeboat, life vest. What do you call that? Lifesaver. Life, yeah, life preserver, lifesaver. Oh, Jinjo. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Evil smokestack. Chill smokestack. Is this where you hit the two propeller switches to get the. Yeah. We were so close to victory last time. I know, we were so close to Venom. So close to Venom! We were so close to Venom! I'm John Lovett. <laughs> if John Lovett's, uh... Was the voice of Star Fox. Was the voice of Star he kinda Fox. Sounds like, he kind of sounds like John Lovett's. Not really. All air pa- <laughs> Father! All, all aircraft report! <laughs> Remember, uh, that time when John Lovett's was in Rat Race? Yeah. That movie is so funny. Yo, what's with the cameras today, boys? Yo, how did you make it behave? I just give a little tap. Detective tap. I knew you were going to do that. Um, you have to drop that TNT? Yes, sir. Affirmative. Oh my god, Alex. What? Can we please, please, please play Command and Conquer Red Alert? What? The whole game? Yeah. It's so bad, it's great. What do you mean? Like, on... On, uh, Beard Bros? Yeah. The whole game? Yeah. I- yeah, I guess. Oh, oh my god, it'd be Command so fun. Command & Conquer Red Alert? Yeah. What a weird choice. I just... <sighs> did you play that whole game already? Oh yeah, I did, of course. Not on the show. It's one of my, like, private... Gems. Like, private gems? Like... There's maybe like 30 or 40 games on the completionist that like I've shared with people. Um, that is that's also one of the private ones. Try and get on the smokestacks. When you mean smokestacks, there's like smokestacks on the ship. You have to get up on top of it so that you can. Uh, there's a jiggy on one of them. Right, I'm trying to get that switch though, so don't have to worry about it. The witch switch. Yeah. Is this the crane that you could climb? Yeah, it is the crane I couldn't climb now that I can. The, the climb you couldn't climb? The crane that I couldn't claim. The crane you couldn't claim? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I don't know what's going on anymore. Can you? Are you as high as the smokestacks? Come on, baby. Oh, man. Damn, no, you, just, you just have to do it. You just did Nike it, you know? Here we go. I think you need to raise the water level to get that. Nah, man. Did I already do this? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, this is going inside. Oh, boy. So now it's time to... Just be good. To be good. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to do this. Revenge, revenge. I didn't mean to do this. Revenge, revenge. You're just saying revenge over and over? Revenge, revenge. Killer. Okay. Nice. Don't freak out, you've got this. You've got this. You've got this. It's so easy, don't worry. It's so easy. You didn't turn off the propeller? Not yet. Does that mean this is impossible? No. Oh, because it slows down. Why don't you just go get that jiggy? What? The jiggy that's right oh, to left, up a little, right there. I can't get that yet. Can't you do it if you just slow down the propeller? Right. I haven't done that yet. Oh, you haven't hit the switch. Yeah. So he was like, come on, dude, what's up? Oh, my God. God damn it. <laughs> this is, this is some BS, bros. This damn is, it. this is the worst. Okay, try and get that cage one again. You could do the one on top of the uh, smokestack, which you probably need to get with a flying thing. You can get the one in the captain's quarters. Uh, or you can rescue the, the little dude. 
The little the, the Jinjo? No, the dude who's like stuck under the anchor. Oh yeah, the dolphin. Yeah. I was already in here, I think, if there's the conquer photo. Yeah. yeah. Psh, doo -ba -doo -doo. Three one two. Three one two. One one one. One one one. Okay, try it again. All right, baby. This is the money time. Don't give up on your on your dreams. Camera's been a little wonky today with me. You've got this. You are the bear. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's, a, he's an unkillable machine. Holy shit. That guy had some nice dodges. That guy was playing fucking mind games with my boy. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Never give up, never surrender. Ooh, yeah! Get that life. Get that life. Yeah, uh? Yeah, huh? <laughs> what if that was the sound I made when I was pleasantly surprised? So that slows the one outside town. Yeah. The other one, I think you just wait for it to slow down. Don't you? Doesn't, doesn't the one when you go straight on, doesn't it just slow down and then you can go past? Not always. No, I don't and think so. then there's one straight across. I think we have to go across and around. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we have to go around. Alright. That's alright. You got this. Plus we gotta get these notes anyway. I think we have more than enough of the tokens. They, they definitely provide enough, more than enough tokens to not need to worry about stuff. Lumbo's tokens? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Perfecto. Where the fuck do you get this? You gotta run oh, out. I have to leave? You gotta go get it. You oh boy. You gotta go out that door. Go get it. Oh my god. How do you do that without dying? Oh my god, this is so evil. Oh my god, be careful. How do you get out? Oh, you climb out? Holy shit. Are you gonna have enough time? Oh my god. Move, baby. So the, it's the back it's of the, the ship, back right? Of the ship. I'm not gonna make this, no way. Dude, what the fuck? How are you supposed to do this? There's gotta be a better way out. Surely. This is the front. Oh, this is the front of the ship? <sighs> Alright, climb up the- climb up the- climb up the anchor. What do you mean, climb up the anchor? I think that's how you do it. Oh, you mean inside to the yeah. entryway, okay. <gasps> to pull up the anchor. Man, that really bummed me out. That was very lame. So now I have to turn both of them off again. So Snorkel... Like... Is this dolphin? He has yeah. a really creepy face. He does. And, uh... <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't make sense where he goes because it's a closed harbor. He just, like, swims off and, like... Dies somewhere, I don't know. No, he doesn't die. Because when you swim under there, you... You die, you get hurt. He right? doesn't die, Alex. There's kids that watch a show. <laughs> he goes off to the the vet to help him. <laughs> there you go. Cover from there his, you go. There you yeah, go. He gets I like that ending. By Banjo Chopper. <laughs> Banjo Chopper? Nothing ever dies. 
<laughs> Put that on my gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever dies. <laughs> Put it on his gravestone. The one place where he never would necessarily need to go. Because he can't die. Yeah. I mean, like, people will be like, where's his body? And then they'll be, oh. And they'll read it and they'll be like, oh. <sighs> Man, come on. Alright, we're gonna get this puzzle piece and then next time on yeah, Beard Bros. Yeah, next time on Beard Bros, we're gonna get more than two more. You have to get eight in the next episode. Leader man. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to die. Go. Oh. I guess I don't have a choice. Oh my god, it's the oil, bro. You're going down. Is it reset every time? Wow. <sighs> wow. Wow. Oh my god, next time on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros, we fucking grow a pair. What does that mean? We're gonna fucking bust a fucking nut on this level, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're picking the worst words today. Kids. Later, man. <laughs>